Hey everyone, it's Anetta with K-Pop Oracles. I'm bringing you another K-Pop tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be about Solar and Hwasa's friendship, the two members of Mama Moon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started and see, uh, ask the first question, what is the friendship like right now? What is Solar and Hwasa's friendship like right now? Eight of Spears or Eight of Wands. This is a sorry about that. <laughs> this is a sign that the communication between them is really positive. It's really great. They like enjoy talking to each other, and I also feel that they like going places together too. This is a card that represents travel, fast moving energy. So they're like travel buddies. Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is a very deep emotional connection. I feel like they're not afraid to kind of express how they feel with each other, you know, like what's on their mind, what makes them tick, you know, what's upsetting them. Like they're very open with their emotions with each other. Ace of Cups. Like they're very sympathetic or empathetic towards one another. We have the tower here. Okay. It seems like they dealt with a lot of like, you know, difficult situations. They're just like, um, maybe at maybe there were some moments in their connection where it was a little rocky, maybe a little tense with the with the, the tower here or um, but it seems like they're 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 trying to work on it, you know, work on it, you know, work on their bond more, being more open, maybe just improving communication so yeah they, they dealt with some some pretty tense moments i feel but it's not all like doom and gloom we have the ten of cups they see each other as family like it's this is this is a very happy card so this kind of trumps this little kind of uh scary looking card here so you know yeah maybe they when they first met they, it wasn't that it was a little rocky maybe at at first but with a ten of cups here it tells me that they've become like family it's like one big happy family Queen of Spears, Queen of Wands. Okay, so these two, it seems like they love the spotlight. Not afraid to kind of show the world their talents, what they've got, you know? Like they love being in front of a camera. Just, just you know, just not afraid of kind of being in front of like a large audience, I feel. They're very charismatic, I feel. Very fiery passion. A lot of fiery passion, I feel. Both of them. They have so much drive. So much ambition. strength here yeah again uh, both of them are very charismatic this is a, a strength cards associated with Leo so but there's something about them that's very Leo like you know they just exude confidence charisma passion you know maybe have like both have really you know have one to like have great hair <laughs> or uh, and also um, yeah, again, this is this this is a sign that this connection that they have is very solid. Okay, one more card. Page of Cups. Okay. Um, I this is a sign. Again, I feel like they're just very. 
open with each other, like, you know, with their emotions. It's It kind of relates to that Ace of Cups card here. This is a very, like, they're very sensitive to each other's needs and also um, uh, treat each other with respect, I feel, and also feel that this card can also mean, like, a message and it's a sign that their communication, the communication that between them, it's it's positive, it's great. They're very understanding of each other. Okay, so let's see. What does Solar think of Hwasa? What does Solar think of Hwasa? Seven of Coins. Or seven of pentacles okay so i think that hawasa is a is a workaholic she works her butt off she works hard for the money you know so she don't need to rely on anybody and she's she's a true talent too we have the emperor so I think that Hwasa is someone who commands attention, commands the spotlight, just someone who commands authority. And it, yeah, there's just, this card is associated with Aries, so she's, she finds her to be someone who's very like strong, passionate, maybe can be a bit stubborn at times, <laughs> or maybe a bit rigid at times, but you know, it's nothing, not, it's not all bad. And she also finds a there's something about Hwasa, it's almost like she's an old soul, you know, just someone who's like um, very wise and just the type of person you would go to for things, just someone who's very loyal and um, would make, you know, like a really cool person to be around, like she's not like weird or anything, like she, she makes you feel like at home, like um, at home, you know, like safe and secure, like she's someone who would be like a, like a protector. Nine of Cups. She thinks that Hawass is very romantic, just someone who is, who can be maybe a little like flirty and, you know, like expressive and, um, you know, will tell you what's up, what, you know, how she's feeling. And um, I also feel that maybe like she thinks that Hawassa is someone who gets a lot of attention and just people like to flirt with her or she likes to flirt with other people. Um, <laughs> with the Knight of Cups here. Okay, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. She thinks that Hwasa is it's a tough cookie, just someone who... Not a tough cookie, sorry. Um, wrong choice of words, but like someone who's strong. Uh, resilient who's gone through so much crap in her life maybe just so much maybe difficult situations maybe dealt with some people who weren't so great you know who betrayed her or um but she was able to rise above it or and you know get over it and move on Six of Spears. Six of Spears is a great card. So she finds her to be like, you know, Khaleesi here on her on her horse, like very charismatic, stands out from the crowd. Just, uh, you, you know, just someone who, there's something about her that's like will capture everyone's attention. Like she's, yeah, like it's, it's, it's hard to, she's memorable, you know, just someone that you won't forget and someone that you can look up to. Okay, what else?
We had Cranberry Dragon. She thinks that Hwasa is, yeah, just, just blessed with a lot of great fortune. Just someone who worked her way up and um, just someone who is, yeah, just like, who is, just knows how to, doesn't really, yeah, doesn't need anyone to kind of like rely on for anything. Like she, she's able to kind of make a living on her own she, and just someone who is like a great businesswoman, you know? Very prosperous. Great jelly dragon. She thinks that Hwasa's can be has a silly side too. There's something about her that's very like child like not not in a bad way, but just like silly and fun and you know knows how to crack a joke. Or really good at, you know, entertaining people. Abundance. She's bougie, but you know, nothing, nothing wrong, not in a bad way, okay? Like she's bougie, she's just someone who has a lot of wealth to kind of share with others, so she's very giving. We have hostilities, hostilities, so it was like that Three of Swords card in reverse that we we saw, and again, it's a, it's a she thinks that Hwasa is is a strong person who's dealt with a lot of maybe just a lot of conflicts in her life, but she's she's strong. She's a fighter. Okay, what does Hwasa think of Solar now? We have the hermit here. She's someone who can be maybe a bit of an introvert at times, just someone who needs a lot of time, like a lot of me time, a lot of alone time, and also just someone who is very smart, very wise, you know, almost like an old soul, just has a lot of wisdom to share with the world and very intelligent and yeah. Too many cards popping up. We have the Ten of Coins here. Ten of Coins or Ten of Pentacles. She thinks that Solar is like her family. I mean, this is a card that represents like kind of like a solid family. Um, she thinks that Solar is very stable and also just someone who has maybe blessed with the like a loving family, I feel like just someone who had a nice upbringing. We have the chariot here. She thinks that Solar is, is just someone who is destined for greatness just someone who was meant to be in this industry and um be like you know re like a really well-known figure and perhaps it um it took a while for Hwasa to kind of warm up with her warm up to her so it, it took a lot of time and a lot of patience maybe Okay, we have the tower here. Again, I think it's a sign, okay. Yeah, again, like they've, it was a little, like maybe rocky at first, but you know, they got, they got through it, this connection that they have. It took some time, another like family. Okay. 
It can also mean that like solar has had it, like a really strong impact on Hwasa's life. Is this Hwasa think of solar? We have the okay, we have the four coins in reverse or four pentacles in reverse. Like she's very she finds her to be very open. Like just someone who's not like closed minded or just like kinda guarded. Like she's like come and you know um you know, don't be afraid to kind of approach me. <laughs> so she's very expressive. Okay, what else? What does Hwasa think of Solar? The Raven. Hmm. Hmm, there's something about her that... I don't know, like something about her that's very magical maybe. Just like very captivating. Just someone who is so intelligent, so wise. Just someone who... Like maybe she's thinking, okay, maybe like I was meant to like meet Solar in this lifetime. Hmm. Like, like maybe they should have past life. The Swan. She finds Solar to be very, you know, very beautiful, very graceful. Just someone who is very talented so someone who's very like maybe just has a very like delicate or maybe sensitive side to her and she also finds that solar is very like there's something about her that's very nurturing like she knows like sh she can pick up like the energy of other people like she knows when you're up she can kind of sense when someone's upset or feeling a certain type of way like she can she's really good at reading people she's very intuitive and also very yeah very self-aware she has there's a she has a gift. She could be like a therapist maybe. <laughs> this has I think of solar. We have fire. Fire, fire, fire. So you know it's associated with you we see the Aries, we have Sagittarius and Leo here. Yeah, she's like these zodiac signs, like very passionate, very like spontaneous, just knows how to have fun, like likes to go on adventures and just someone who's very assertive too, very strong and very creative and a, and a great leader. We have Cancer. Yeah, she can be bold, like these fire signs, but she also has, yeah, she has a loving, nurturing side to her, very mother-like, very compassionate, you know, there's something about her, her presence and her, like, like she's, she has the ability to kind of like help you get through the tough times, like she, there's, there's something about her that's very soothing, very healing, like she is very kind, she's very compassionate, she's not like someone who's cold-hearted or um, standoffish or anything like she's very warm okay so what are some kind of issues or hurdles they may have to deal with this year what are some issues they may have to deal with this year Keep it 100. Okay, so I feel like they may try to like, they may struggle to kind of be, I don't know. I feel like they, they, there's a desire for them to kind of want to be more open with the public and kind of just keep it real, keep it authentic. Kind of show the world their true selves. clap back okay so they may have to deal with some tough situations some maybe some people who don't have the like the nicest things to say but they'll be able to kind of like clap back at them you know kind of uh, shut them down so that's something yeah they may have to deal with this year
throw shade. Yeah, so throw shade. So it's a sign. Yeah, again, they may have to deal with some difficult people, but don't know. They'll find a way to kind of shut them down <laughs> and, you know, nip things in the bud quickly. Okay, so um, what are some lessons I have to learn this year? Reassess, reassess, trying to figure out, you know, what is important, what's not important, what's worth your time, what's not worth your time. What else? What are some important lessons that they'll learn this year? Surrender denial. Like trying to accept things for set people situations for as they are and um, being able to kind of see things clearly and you know making the right decisions. Last quarter moon in Taurus being proud of themselves, learning to be content, you know, with your accomplishments, with yourself, being content in your own skin and um, try not to like focus on any like negative negativity. All right, what else? What's going to happen to their connection this year? We'll just pull one card. We have coffin. Coffin can mean it, it. It has to do with endings, so it can mean just the end of one, maybe bad situation, and the beginning of something great. Actually, let me pull two more cards then. Patience, being more patient with one another and more on this, I, I guess, kind of deepen their bond maybe a bit more. Or just being patient in general, you know, with life, other people. Yeah. The world. It seems like they'll be, they're gonna be more open to, it seems like they'll, maybe they'll dip their toes in other like industry or other fields this, this year, like just kind of see, just being more open to change, I feel. Um, it seems like they have talents in other areas, so we may see them kind of do something else than, you know, the K-pop stuff, I feel. Anyway. So that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at kpoporacles1 and Tumblr, kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.